In this Star Wars Battlefront 2 video, I'm going to be showing you today the absolutely phenomenal event that just went on over this weekend, just gone, for the May the 4th event. This has seen absolutely thousands of players, new players coming in, playing the game, and returning players who have had this game for a while, and it has been an absolute blast, and I'm really, really happy to say that I managed to actually play this game myself. Just like most games and most events that come out on especially older games, it has come with its own issues, and I'll be getting into into those shortly as well for example just like this when your characters would be locked I'm gonna show you how to actually stop this and fix this issue and also speak about hackers it was a lot of fun and because of this because of all of this event and this hype of Star Wars day it also had this amazing sale just look at the discounts that it had it was like four pounds for the celebration edition that comes with extra credits it also comes with every single skin for all of the characters in the game it is is so sick. Before we properly get into this video, if you could be so kind and as to like this video and subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of this video. So even though this game has been four years, yes it's been four years since the last update, as you can see from this tweet here, it was on the April the 29th of 2020 was the last time we had an update for this game. It is still seeing a surge of players and there is over 2,000 people playing it right now, but this got to a high of 5,000 people on Steam alone. Obviously there are other platforms so it's going to be way higher. One of the developers for Kyber V2, which is something that I'll get into at some point soon, they also mentioned in the Discord channel that they could get a hold of the stats and the player counts for Star Wars Battlefront 2 over on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox as well, as well as the EA app itself on PC so we can actually see the proper player counts and wow. I am really really happy to see all these people playing it so enough rambling what is star wars battlefront 2 unlimited power event well this event has been off and on it only happens probably once or twice a year sometimes not even at all so basically as you can see on screen here it is literally every single hero in the entire game is able to be played on every map and for a discounted price of just 400 battle points Along with this, there is also double XP, as we get to see every weekend anyway, and faster spawn rates. So it just means this game is absolutely hectic, pretty much from the get-go. I think that is incredible. I have heard online there are some people who don't really like this mode, and I can see why. It does get very, very hectic, but at the same time, I actually really enjoyed it myself. This is the first time I've ever actually played this, and I had an absolute blast. It does get frustrating because some people try and team up as heroes, but you're going to get that. It's an online game, but honestly, I have had an absolute blast. So there has actually been some speculation online as to whether or not this event would have gone ahead. And fortunately enough for us, it has. This is due to the fact that the guys at DICE have to be in the office at the time of this event going on and manually open these servers and activate this event. And as you're probably aware, more or less all of the devs have gone over to develop the new Battlefield game. So it's actually very surprising to me that they've kept this going and I'm so happy that they have. It's probably because there is a very healthy player count playing this game and there is not really any other competition. We have the Fortnite May the 4th event, but apart from that, there's not really anything else that's hugely rivaling this to be honest just some arcadey shooter that I have absolutely loved to bits. And the fact that the graphics are amazing, you can play as your favourite heroes, you can mod it like I have shown on screen here, you can use anyone you like and it is so fun. So as I mentioned earlier on in the video, there have been some issues that have come along with this, just like there would be in a lot of other games, but in this case, there have been issues where certain heroes have been locked and they are heroes that you would never even need to unlock in the first place but they have just been locked and they're unable to be used i'm not sure how this has actually come about but there is a workaround for this so in short all you need to do literally is just leave the game and join a new one or if that still doesn't work close the game completely and open it again 
try again and it should be fine. People have spoken online about that they have to actually uninstall the game and then reinstall it for this to work. Honestly, do not do that. You do not need to do that at all. That will just waste time and for some people you might actually end up missing the whole event if you then have to uninstall the game and reinstall it again. The event is actually still live right now so I would thoroughly recommend Go into the game right now on any platform and just try it. Give the game a go, see how you like it. I've honestly loved every second of playing this game. So next up, server issues. This might be one of the weirdest chain of events I have ever seen in playing this game. Just look at that on screen. How crazy is that? I think it's when one of the ships crashes or gets destroyed, it then brings everybody in the whole server to the same little circle, so it's just absolute mayhem. Honestly, I know it's a glitch, but I have really found this fun. I thought this was really funny. It just kept happening over and over again, sometimes instantly as I spawned, and it would also sometimes happen twice within about 10 seconds of each other. In all of my years of playing this video game, I have never experienced this before, and to be honest, I'm glad I did. It was absolutely hilarious. So now I'll be moving on to the only thing that was negative about this experience. I really did not like this. I don't understand how it actually happened or why, but if you look at this screen right here, I was playing a Galactic Assault game on Camino on PC, when this happened. I'm not sure what this is and I've heard online that apparently it's actually somebody that's hacked the game. So this ghost camera style thing is apparently something that it goes through the map when it's loading in. It can be triggered by a hacker in the game and for some reason it affects everybody in the whole server. All I've actually experienced of this is on Galactic Assault on PC. So if you're on console, PlayStation or Xbox, you're absolutely fine. You're in the clear, don't worry about it, it is purely just PC. You can very easily just quit the game and find a new one, but at the same time, it's very frustrating. I would love to know if you guys are actually still watching this video, and if you are, let me know by leaving a comment that says, May the 6th be with you because I am two days late to this event. I'm sorry. So Kyber V2 is on its way. I have joined the Discord server to hear all of the updates as and when they come out. And honestly, I could not be more excited for this. I am absolutely buzzing because it comes with easy mod support. Anybody can use these mods, if you've got a PC that is, and it's so simple to do. They had a new blog post come out a couple of weeks ago just talking about how they are still working on it and there will be a play test very soon. They said that it would actually come out in April but with the rise of the Fallout series the guys at Nexus Mods have been working on mods for Fallout because Kyber V2 also works with Nexus Mods to enable all of this to be possible for us. There will be absolutely tons of videos made on this once it's come out because everybody playing this game on PC would probably want to mod it if they haven't already. I cannot wait. I'm going to be making so many videos on it because I'm so excited to play this mode and I hope you are too. If you did enjoy this video, if you could leave a like and subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. And what do you think of this May the 4th event? It's actually still going on now. So now that you've finished watching the video, head over to Star Wars Battlefront on any platform and give it a go. Honestly, you will not regret it. I absolutely have had a blast. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.